Yeah, it really doesn't want to do it. <laughs> and welcome back guys, my name is Crossroads and today we are continuing with the Bad Batch and now with episode number 6 called Decommissioned. That really doesn't tell anything and uh, yeah, please consider subscribing and after that let's go straight to the reaction. Decommissioned. Actually I had to redo the intro because I said recommissioned, but yeah. So we're back in Ord Mantle, so maybe continuing directly from the last episode. <laughs> I was doing better until those two showed up. Hmm, yeah. I have to learn to tune up Pressure. Again. Yeah, man, my guys will really listen to them. They know what they're talking about. I assume you boys know what a tactical droid is? Or? The operational brains of the separatist military. Ba, 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 ba. This is yes. my briefing goggles. <laughs> tactical droid intel has tremendous value. I guess we're in. I know you're in. I think Omega didn't sense oh, that in. her uh, like Sid's thoughts are in good favor. So Omega doesn't interfere and is friend with Sid has to be a bounty hunter. She has an incredibly good aim. Why is a tactical droid more important than the other droids? The more tactical droids fought, the more they learned. And won. <sighs> but Corellia. Are there like ship parts or are there just like industrial buildings? Oh, Wrecker is afraid of high places? I don't still understand why most of the doors in Star Wars are not locked. There's just like a button and you can get entry. That's a bunch of droids. Holy shit, that's actually many. Wrecker probably just killed the dude, doesn't even care. That's so many battle droids, holy shit. What about me? What should I do? Stay here and keep your eyes peeled for the target. Let's move. At least he used to stun. A tactical droid is listed in the system, but only one. You really mean that uh, out of like thousands of co tactical droids, there is exactly the one on the line coming to Omega? Head. There's somebody else up behind Omeg also. Stay back. Whoa, whoa. Take it oh, stop. I don't want to hurt you. It's the girl from Clone Wars. Rafa and Trace. Yeah. She's taking a chance against Omega. Omega's taking a chance. Yeah. I mean, they, those droids look like a commando droid, but with different heads and more shoulder plating. And the body is quite similar. There's a second person after the tactical droid. Don't worry. I'm a No, stay They actually just need the data, so couldn't they copy it on Echo or something? Or some memory drive? And then Omega, no. Oh no. I got it. <laughs> okay, so this this is this type of uh, episode. I have the droid head. Like some got a football or I I mean I don't know. He yeah, really doesn't want to do it. <laughs> the head again. I'll take that. Oh God. No fucking way. There's no way. 
I mean, that was kind of easy to predict, but not this fast. Oh, she's gonna have a moral problem now. Oh god. Pit wasn't hit it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Super battle droid leg. I got you, kid. That was close. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me or anything. <laughs> Trace is again the friendly one. Rafa is all, all, all again bitching. But as you can. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I like that they didn't come from different directions. It's just one way. What we need is a diversion. Is there an echo in here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> okay, that's stupid. And this will help me access the program. Again, I, I don't like the pacing of this episode. It's like... Well, of course, it was made for younger audience, but it's like jumping on like... Kind of... Kind of, you know, sh shocking moments to funny moments to again... You know, there shouldn't be like tension here that they are under trouble, and there is, but. Activate battle droids. Command them to attack all police droids. Affirmative. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you didn't. Like, B1s are kind of. Did actually the one BB one just jumped up off the Yeah. Nice shot. It's all about tuning out distractions. Yeah. He's here. Who is flying the ship? R7! God damn! All that work for nothing. But he said actually. Isn't gonna be did, didn't R7 get shot or something? Our contact needed that information to fight back against the Empire. They're trying to help people and make things better. Why aren't you fighting for the Empire? Not all of us. We are different. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah. You should come visit us sometime. Isn't that part of Ordmental a little seedy? Yeah. Hi, Omega. Omega with new friends again. Here. What's this? Tech copied the tactical droid's intel to this data rod. Why are you giving it to us? You use it for the right reasons. Huh. Maybe you are different. In the end, we all choose sides. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's just friending Omega here. And that's the episode? No. Out of Corellia, it is. We had help. It was a squad of rogue clones. Thought you might want to know. Who is it? Oh, there's a fucking tease, bro. What? So now we have four storylines going. What the fuck is going on right here? God damn, I mean, so I don't think that was Saw. That might have been, that has to be somebody from the early Rebel Alliance. Well, it isn't an Alliance or even Rebels, it's just group of people. So somebody who will be even searching for clothes. I mean, what the fuck? Okay. I mean, this episode had a lot of more great things than the last one. The last one was the Rancor one that... Kimbo, I don't know. It's not some bullshit. This one was great. 
I mean, they they're now more friends with Sid. They are definitely doing missions for her. They didn't copy the information, if I'm not right, from the tactical droid. So, like to you know, double copy basically, or maybe they did. So maybe they get steal the bounty from Sid. Mm. But yeah, uh, the droid factory whole thing. I mean, I love like that uh, Martina sister. Is that the right term? Somehow that term comes to mind. But Rafa and Trace basically. Uh, like that uh, there is a it wasn't completely you know go get this bounty that there was actually backstory and well it was not introducing new characters but visiting characters um, which is which has been quite, quite contro controversial uh, on the you know actual live action ones that it's just bringing already known characters blah 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 but uh, uh, that's great I mean made so much more content for the episode and yeah i mean both uh, uh, behind, uh after the tactile droid head which is nice i mean great and uh yeah uh omega is definitely using the bow now she got few hits with it uh and then there's the uh wrecker storyline now it's starting he was repeating the good soldier follower he, the, clearly the inhibitor chip is starting to work in his head or at some times so maybe it's already kind of active so they maybe have to you know turn it off yeah or maybe he gets actually hit in the head and then has to has to go with crosshair or gets you know lost during a mission or something and then he returns later or something but that's really interesting where they're going with the wrecker so there's a like i said during the episode the facing is a bit weird because there's like the recording he was you know really kind of dark moment kind of you know just there should be huge tension already with the episode like they're getting you know uh, kind of smacked by the police droids there and then there's the record thing going on you should be like oh god damn but then there's the Funny lightning of the uh, 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 the sisters repeating the orders, basically, like echoed it in the Clone Wars. And then there's, is there an echo in here? Then this echo comes in. I mean, that's a, that's a funny in multiple ways, if you know what the hell was going on, of course. Uh, yeah. Mm, and now, yeah, the hooded figure in the end, or I guess it was hooded. Maybe it was a like a rogue Jedi or something, and then they go and records chip, you know, activates or something. He just starts blasting, and that what should lead us to maybe helping Wrecker in the later episodes. Somehow uh, the Kaminoans will come in, and the uh, you know maybe the uh, Crosshair Squad is chasing also maybe some Jedi fugitives. And then they, you, you know, get faced in the same mission and record goes with crosshair or something. I mean, that's interesting concept that we have here and starting. Yeah. Mm, I guess they're going now back to Ord Mantel. Probably that's where the next episode starts in Seeds. Uh, I don't know if we will see uh, Rafa and uh, Trace again. Seems like a kind of one episode visit. Uh if not in this season, there's the second season coming, so maybe in that one. Um, or maybe they will, you know, cooperate later in this season also with the Bypass, I'm sure. But yeah. That was a short episode, was it? That was... The last one was 21, this was like 19 minutes. Damn. They're getting short. Uh, but yeah. I don't think... I have anything else to say. I'm so excited. I just want to go watch the next episode right here. And I, ge I think I will see you guys in that one, uh, which is the episode number seven. And you can find it on the tab or on, in like five seconds on the end screen. So yeah, I think we'll, we will see you in the next one, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, see you there. Bye. <laughs>